DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up. Let's get a sports talk. Joel Embiid. Some of his success is predicated on how well Ben Simmons is playing. The like guys that are around like him. And, and like Steve like Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the, the Lakers won a championship without Magic shooting the rock. It can be dumb, brother. It can be facilitated, right? Jay, personnel. Jay, yeah, I Jay, what Ben Simmons is. But Jay's a facilitator. But, so, 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 you making that point. They can. Ben Simmons, he curate everything for MB. The problem is they both like to be in the paint. They can win a championship without being shooting the basketball. Yes, he's a facilitator, but they lack of who gonna take the last shot, who's gonna be a creator. They missed that in Jimmy Butler. He could spread the floor. You put the best on his hand at the end of the game and let him be your closer. That's what they missing. And they missing a stretch floor. They don't have those three-point shooters they had last season. They don't have that. Now, everything is clogged up in the paint between MB and Simmons. Yes, he created that for uh, MB. Yes, MB can step out and shoot threes, but they also like to do the same thing and be in the paint. That's what they lacking is... Three-point shooting. They trying to find that. That's why this season they was here, 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 here. Because they don't have that. They don't know who could take the shot at the end of the games. Tobias would be a scratch forward for them. He kind of was kind of like this iffy this season. He kind of took a little step back this season. Because he feel like he don't need to step on no toes. But they need you to be... A scratch. It also needs you the possibility to take the last shot of the game. The possibility be a scratch and shoot more threes. Like he, he did it this season, but it was like I said, like a roller coaster for him. That's what they lock him in. That's why the Sixers are kind of up and down because they don't have that thing they had last season. This is a different team this season. You know they still solid, you know they're still in the playoffs, but that's what they lock him in. You trying to tell me Magic wasn't the most important guy to their team's success? No, I'm saying, but it's just not around him being the most important. It's about what are the pieces that you're surrounded with. And I think ultimately, if Brett Brown can't get it done this year, the question that this team is going to find themselves faced with is, can these two work together? And if they can't, then who do you build your team around? And I've said it multiple times, considering Joel Embiid's uh, history of injuries, and not knowing which way the league is moving as far as traditional bigs, I would have a tendency if they can't get it done with Brett Brown, and if they do have to make a decision to split them up, I would build a sim I would build a team around Ben Simmons rather than Joel Embiid. Uh, let me get in here for a second. First of all, Swagoo, just because you once wore a uniform with, that was blue and white with stars <laughs> on your uniform, like Ooh, the Sixers no. don't make you qualified to talk about Brett Brown, no Ben Simmons, number one. Number two, Jay Williams, last time Tell I you, checked, by the Brett way. Brown wasn't a part of the question. It was Simmons or Embiid. I didn't what? know that Brett Brown what? was a part of this what? discussion. I mean, I've been, I've been, why I've you just say this so many times, like this damn and jersey? And I'm watching take more shots, and start shooting, that can elevate the Sixers. That can really turn everything around for them. Now he can stretch the floor. And that can bring everyone out of the paint and create everything for MB and you. But when you not taking no shots, the defense are going to back up and clog up the lane, and that's nothing open for MB or for Simmons. 
He don't shoot. I think he took, what, two shots this season? And that's about it? It's bad enough they already surround you with three-point shooters to help them out. They don't want to have to start over. They already said, trust the process. Now the process here, they don't want to have to go through that again. And you know how Philadelphia fans are. They don't want to go through a process. That's why they don't want to get rid of them two. Because they already changed decisions and turned into a contender team. They're going to try to figure out a way to have the two work together. But if he take more shots, you can see he can elevate the Sixers. He would be the league MVP. He's that bad of a brother. This brother's something special. Everything else he has. kicking in for Al Horford. It's not kicking in. Al Horford is used to playing the five. Now he has to play the four. He struggled as a power forward. All his success comes from playing the five position. He know when he put his name on that dollar line that he was going to play the four because it beats the five. That's why he wasn't playing the same because in Boston, he was the five. And you see that he had a, a career year with Boston because he's more comfortable playing the center position. Now he had to try to get used to playing the four position. With an attitude, with a chip on his shoulders, determined, showing up in his hazmat suit and all of that other stuff. You had to get help to put the damn thing on. What's the smartest thing to wear? Because you're going to need help taking it off. But the bottom line is, you can't play in that bad boy. You That's what I'm saying. That's the, no, the 